Hi guys, Skypoint here. I've got an interesting video for you today because I was challenged by another YouTube channel to a duel tournament. Yes, a knightly duel tournament by uh, Lord Lancelot. So you'll be able to find a link to his channel uh, in the description for this video below and also at the end of this video. So go ahead and check it out. All right, so the rules of this were pretty simple. We were gonna play five matches, so um, no matter who wins or loses however many, we're gonna play five matches in total and see uh, this final score at the end. All right, so with that, let's talk about the first match over here. We're gonna be doing a Serastus armor against a, um, oh God, what's the basic armor called again? Whoops. Uh, Questorus armor. There we go. So Serastus versus Questorus. So here's the deck which I was using for Serastus. So for this first match, I wasn't going with my Vironi deck. I was going with Maccabius. And this is a deck which is basically based around uh, trying to get by, building up your energy supply, and then doing a big hit with the Hecaton Claw at the end. All right, let's take a look at how match number one went. So, I was up against Lord Lancelot in his Questorus Orlac armor. Now, I've got a 5 point health lead and a 3 point energy lead, although with his Warlord he's able to create um, plasma. Sorry, a 5 point health lead and a 3 point plasma lead, and with his Warlord he can create it. I was actually pretty happy with this opening hand, so I just accepted it as is. And we went into the beginning of the first match. So I do have the initiative as the uh, Serastus armor. So I spend my two energy just to create a weapon and wait. Two flame cannons is usually a pretty good position to be in. So he uses House Orlac to create a weapon card and he's using terraforming to pull out a structure and discount it. All right, it's coming up to the three energy turn. So let's talk about uh, building up plasma. So maintenance servitor gives me two more plasma. I will attack him directly since I have no weapons out. Drop my drilling site and use that to play my plasma generator. So I'll get an extra point of plasma every turn as long as that thing stays alive. <coughs> there comes the munitions depot. All right. That's not a card I tend to include in any of my knight's decks. I know a lot of people swear by it, but I maybe my experiences with it were just not that great. Kept getting Melgatort. <laughs> Alright, so we're coming into 4 energy. Let me drop Favorite of Mars, and now I'm well set up for Plasma. Let's go ahead and start trying to knock down that Munitions Depot a bit. But I'm feeling pretty good. I've got 9 Plasma and 3 more coming a turn. He's already starting to run a little bit though. He's going after my generator. Creating more weapons for himself. Interesting. Alright, so he goes ahead and hits the generator, but that's fine. Ooh, and a counterattack for healing. Very interesting. Okay, uh, let's take a look at what I'm going to do here. So... I want to take out that munitions depot, so we're going to headbutt it first, then drop a flame cannon and lightly roast his entire board. There we go. Destroys his, both of his troops, does two points of damage to him. Okay, flipping back towards me. And there's a shot from that battle cannon straight into my knight armor, but I still have a health lead on, oh my god, House Macabius. Oh, ouch. All right. So normally I would have liked to attack him and then use the flame cannon to uh, damage him. But with that House Macabius, he's got a whopping six attack this turn. Definitely don't want that. So I'll just take a slow turn over here and heal myself a bit. Coming back to him now, he's got another favorite of Mars, so we're both going to be throwing out plenty of plasma. Second copy of House Orlac pulls out another weapon. An Iron Gauntlet Shield. Interesting. <clears throat> Alright, shield goes up. Comes back to my next turn, so we are going to break his shield. 
Now let's drop the flame canyon. So at least while he's got the iron gone, let's shield his damage output is a little bit lower. There we go. And so now we can drop a plasma generator and also the Martian Emissary. Martian Emissary creates plasma and also he'll be useful for breaking shields open next turn. Oh no. Graviton Cannon already. And that's bye bye to my flamer. So that munitions depot which lived for two turns basically discounted that Graviton Cannon and turned it into eight cost. Okay, uh, I get to create a weapon. I created a battle cannon for now because I'm just too far from the uh, Graviton Cannon. Let's see if I can try and do enough damage to start bringing that thing down. It's a little bit longer and I'll be able to do this. Not a great position to be in. He just needs to headbutt me and Graviton Cannon me. He did not headbutt me. He created Plasma because he couldn't fire the Graviton before. Ooh, if I get a weapon, I can do this. If I get a nice ranged weapon, perhaps, or heal... Oh, no, it's over. Yeah, I didn't get a good ranged weapon out of that thing. I mean, I can try healing myself up a bit. But it's kind of hopeless. He's going to create enough plasma that it's all over now. There we go. Four points of plasma. He doesn't even have to do anything else. He can just zap me. There's the big heal. His graviton cannon's back to full health. There's the finishing shot. Alright, so one nil to him. Okay, so the next match is going to be a Serastus armor duel. So this is what I brought in for that one. And uh, this is my Serastus Vironi deck. It's basically made to be a mostly a ranged damage deck. Lots and lots of ranged weapons in there. Lots of plasma generation and healing. So sit back and blast everything. Let's check out how this match went down. Okay, so he's got Serastus Orlac as well. So now what am I doing here? Again, not a bad set of cards to start with. Uh, Tech Engineer for turn one, and then depending on if he puts something on the board or not in his first turn, I can use, um, well, in his second turn really, because I'm going second, I can use Shock Lance to destroy it or Maintenance Servitor if I just want the energy. And then I already have Favorite of Mars going into turn four. Well, turn the four energy turn, but you know what I mean. AC creates a weapon with a tech engineer. So what I'm just going to do is go ahead and drop my own tech engineer as well. And I'll create the battle cannon so I have that for next turn and take out his guy. Okay, he's playing a void engagement, which is going to do two points of damage to me. All right, that's fine. Bringing out a command bridge. And he headbutts and destroys my guy. All right, and he creates a weapon from House Orlac. Comes over to me. So I've got a couple of choices here. I could either be aggressive or defensive. I chose to go a little bit aggressive now just because I was behind on health. Now, I probably should have put the maintenance servitor out, but whatever. House Macabius, and here comes a big hit. Ouch, look at that. Definitely wish I had the maintenance servitor to help recover from that. Okay, now I compounded it. I probably should have used my ability twice to heal up my battle cannon there, but I felt I really wanted that energy little bit of healing from my counter-attack card. So I'm technically ahead of him on health now. But now he brings in his own battle cannon, which is going to do enough damage to destroy my battle cannon. There we are. An overtax reactor. So now he's got more health, he's got a weapon, and he's got more plasma. Not a great draw for me here. Let's take out the shock lance. And we're going to uh, use my, uh, well, use the Shock Lance on me, use my ability to give the Shock Lance more health, and just go ahead and attack him. Similar health now. I've got a melee weapon, but it's got plenty of health going on. There's his favorite of Mars. 
Ooh, an iron gauntlet shield now. And shields are up. That's me. Alright. Need another battle cannon. I keep getting ocular augmentics. Alright, let's put the flame cannon down. Use the flame cannon then to pop his shield open. And activate my shock lance. And this time I made a mistake. I forgot to use my ability to heal my weapons more. Or rather give them more health. So now they're in the danger zone. Oh yeah, he's about to take up all my guns. And I think that one move of not healing my weapons may have cost me dear. Ouch, one health. And he just turns his shield on and headbutts me. And no more weapons for me. 10 points of health behind him. He's got a shield and a gun. And... I think... I'm up against the ropes now. Okay, let's take a look. Ion Flare Shield. Looking for a weapon. Overtax Reactor. Looking for a weapon. Still nothing. That did not turn out well at all. Take out his troop, otherwise honestly his troop would have attacked me anyway and popped my shield. There's some gentle toasting action from the flamer. Ooh, another flamer, that's a good move. And he's keeping his shield there, you'll notice, right? The shield stayed up. And more action there. This match, just like the last one, I've actually ended up in this position where I've used my plasma too poorly. I have loads of plasma and just no way to dump, get rid of it to actually use all of that. Alright, so there's a little bit of repairing. Let's get a weapon in place. Maybe if I get enough repair cards and things like that, I'll be able to turn this around. Let's see. I'm getting very close to being Graviton, though. Ooh, another battle cannon. And that's a big hit on me. There we are. Three health. He needs to just one more... Okay, flame cannon. There we are. Flame cannon on me, and then he can headbutt me and win. All right, here we go. There's the flame cannon. I'm down to one health. And boom. All right, so after that match, the score is now... 2-0 to Lord Lancelot. Alright, the next match is once more uh, Serastus Maccabeus from me against the Acastus armor from him, so the legendary armor. So legendary armor will be starting on 40 health and it just has this passive ability where weapons it plays get one, get one bonus point of health. Let's take a look at how that match went down. All right, so we are starting off with a pretty decent set of cards over here. So nothing wrong with this, so we're going to accept that. As, no weapons to start with, but in my Maccabeus deck, really, the only weapons are Hecaton Claws. So we're going to spend my first turn just creating a weapon, and very usefully we got a Battle Cannon there. And... Uh, this comes over to his turn. This house Orlac, so he's creating a weapon himself, an avoid engagement to come along and hit me. Alright. Next is going to be... Okay, that's good. Drilling site. I like that. So we can play the maintenance servitor first. Then we can play one drilling site, which will allow me to use my ability to create another weapon. So graviton cannons are always useful. Against knights, the gravit the um, G Gatling cannon, whatever that was, is a little bit overkill. Knights generally don't tend to have too many powerful troops. All right, so he went ahead and attacked my guy over there, and he played the battle cannon. All right, so with the battle cannon out, he's able to take one more shot and finish off my troop. So, five points of health between us, but he's not done yet. He plays a drilling site. And with the drilling site, he brings out an engineer. So he gets another weapon. Alright, back to my turn. It is getting interesting. Let's play a command bridge to draw a tactic. Favorite of Mars is always good. 
And next, headbutt his troop to remove that. Let's drop a battle cannon onto the my knight and take the shot. So shoot him. So four points of health between us and his gun is on six health. Overtaxed reactor, try and look for his cards. Ion flare shield, protects himself and draws a card and then he shoots me. Okay, not ideal, but I've got a little trick up my sleeve with the Archmages. Okay, let's do this. So open up his shield. Shoot him. Drop the Archmages and heal my Warlord and that heals my weapon as well. So he shoots my Archmages, that's fine. And he drops his own Archmages. All right, now I'm about to make a terrible mistake here. Like, look at all that healing he's doing, by the way. What I should have done in this place is recognizing that Archmages is the best troop in his deck and played Corrupt Usportation now to steal it myself and play it again later. Instead, I use my ability to create another weapon. Drop that weapon onto my Warlord. Take a double shot against his Archmages. are and then attack him with my own archmages okay favorite of mars from him and he destroys the archmages so no more archmages for the rest of this match from either one of us as orla continuing to make weapons over there okay seven energy turn so we are going to Shoot him, first of all. There we are. Destroys his weapon, and my weapons are on full health. We can play Favorite of Mars to secure my energy in future. And Overtax Reactor as well, so that the next turn I'm solidly set for energy. So now taking the lead on health and weapons. He does have a shield up, but I've got ways of handling that. For now. Another Engineer. Okay, and he creates plasma. A drilling site comes out. Interesting. Three energy. What's he doing? Oh, he drops another battle cannon. All right. Shoots me. Okay, back to my turn. Ooh, a plasma generator. All right. So we're gonna use the iron flare shield first. We're going to open up his shield. We can then blast him twice. And then use the Blessed Auto Simulacra to heal up my Warlord and my weapons. That still leaves me with two, plas two energy so I can drop a Plasma Generator. So I've got a 10 point lead. Much stronger health weapons as well. Okay, he's terraforming, and what's he bringing out? Oh, munitions depot. Tax me. Tax me again. Ooh, a last cutter. <gasps> he's destroying all my weapons this turn. Okay, at least his battle cannon is gone. And now he's going to turn on his shield and headbutt me. Ow. Okay. All right, well, I don't want that munitions depot making everything cheap for him in his hand. Can I take it out this turn? So again, I made a big mistake there. I should have just... I was focused on taking out his shield generator here, and it kind of worked. But what I really should have done is corrupt usurpation and stolen that munitions depot and put it back in play again even. Cost three energy, right? Yeah. Now it's bye bye to my Hecaton Claw as he refills his energy, he uses his Warlord ability, and zaps me. All of a sudden, that lead I had is evaporating fast. On the other hand, I have my own Graviton Cannon, and we can 
blast him, destroying his Graviton Cannon and putting me in the solid lead. Ion Flare Shield goes up. So got, oh no, House Macabius. Overtax Reactor, drawing his another card, so just working through his deck. My Graviton Cannon's on the rocks. Oh no, I've got no way of breaking open his shield to shoot him with the Graviton Cannon. Even putting the Hecaton Claw wouldn't help. Oh no. You know what? I missed my route to victory there. I could have shot him with the Graviton Cannon, activated my Plasma Generator, used the Hecaton Claw, and win. How did I not see this? I had lethal and I threw it away. Oh god. Okay, and yeah, of course. <laughs> There's the second Graviton Cannon. Oh my god, I... Watching the replay is excruciating sometimes. <laughs> oh, out. Bye bye. The score is now looking like, uh, if I buy my calculations, 3 0 to him. Alright, the next match is Questorus versus Questorus. So, this is my Questorus Maccabeus deck. So, this one I'd set up a while ago and I haven't really changed it that much. So, on the ladder, this deck kind of worked for me, but matches were always super close. Anyhow, let's throw this out and see how it goes. Alrighty, so we have a pretty good set of opening cards, actually. I don't mind this. Let's go. So my deck actually has a couple of weapons in there, so it's not as super important to always use my ability. And what I'd like to do is get Kaizo Lane out quickly. Especially before flamers hit the board, which is going to happen next turn, I guess. But the chances of a flamer comes gets greater and greater the more the match goes on. So let's throw out Kaizu Lane and a tech engineer to create a weapon and get some board presence. Oh, last cutter's not great, but in combination with my chain blade, it might be tolerable. All right, let's see here. What's he doing? Favorite of Mars, good. So no flamer yet. So Kaiser Lane will get to act at least once. And I've got the lead in terms of health. Interesting. Health and energy lead. Very interesting. For now. Okay, let's use Kaiser Lane and I get... I'll get Bileblade actually. The permanent boost to my Warlord's attack might be handy. Although it comes a little bit late. The last cutter. Maybe the Blood Angel Shock Assault would have been better for that 4 damage, but... Yeah, 4 damage in one turn definitely would have been better than the Bile Blade, because then the odds of this game lasting long enough to get the full value out of the Bile Blade, probably not so great. Anyway, uh, let's just keep this going. He's got a Battle Cannon out, so is he going to take out the Mechanicum guy or Kai? Okay, he really hates Kai Zulane. Bye bye to Kai. Overtaxed reactor, all right. Goes up to the pack and destroys my little troopy there. Poor guy. All right, what are we doing? Uh, five energy, not that much to do here. So let's use my little plasma cutter and then increase my attack. We'll go ahead and hit him. And then after all that, we can throw in the Blessed Auto Simulacra to heal myself back up. So I've got a pretty comfortable 9 point health lead over him at this point. I like that. Iron Shield goes up, but that's fine. The last cutter can cut it. Engineers in the house. Oh, and that structure is up. Okay, so he's discounted his weapons by one. Junior. Use corrupt precipitation to steal the structure. And that increase my attack. Destroy his battle cannon. And that's it. I'm not spending 
the one point of energy. Ooh, House Macabius. Painful. With an iron shield, even more painful. Big hit! Down to 16 health. That health lead I had evaporating fast. Okay, what's coming up for me? Oh, this will be a fun combo. Alright, watch this. House Ertigan to give me plus one attack and sneak attack. And House Macabius to give me plus four attack. So there's seven attack with sneak. Big hit on him. Alright. Back in the lead. And he can't really headbutt me easily. There's a battle cannon from him. Okay. Ooh, and a flame cannon as well. Nice move. Big hits. Big, big hits. Alright, what are we going to do here? Let's get a tech engineer down. Oh, and that's going to create a graviton cannon. And then if I drop the munitions depot, the cost of the graviton cannon goes down to 9 energy. So next turn, I can zap him. Unless he had a graviton cannon in hand when he played the munitions depot. Oh, and of course he did. Alright. Ouch. So that's about to be bye-bye. That was a close match. Very close. I was one turn for winning it. 4-0 right now. Ouch. Alright, so at 4-0, can I redeem my honor with the one final match in the tournament? The final match is Questorus against uh, the uh, Astoric Armor, the Legendary Armor again. So I'm sticking with the same Questorus deck. Let's take a look at how the last match for my uh, for the tournament went. So Questorus versus Astoric again. So this time the starting hand not so good. So I put away a couple of cards. And this is much better. So let's go ahead and I have to start with the initiative again. So let's throw out Kaizu Lane and create a weapon. So there's the creating a weapon. It's a shock lance. Kaizu Lane hits the board. Over to his turn. Overtaxed reactor pops out. So now he's got plenty of plasma. Two plasma. So let's create a tactic with Kaiser Lane. We'll get host of angels. That could be pretty useful. And then create some plasma with the Mechanicum troop and throw out more plasma with the overtaxed reactor. And then activate my attack ability and go for it. Eleven points. Sorry, nine points of health behind. Still nine points. Ooh, battle cannon. Who's he going for? Is it bye bye Kai? No, it's going for me. Interesting. Bye bye to my own weapon. Okay, uh, what are we going to do here? Let's create a card. We're going to get Burning Tower. And with Burning Tower, actually, this will be interesting because I had the initiative. So, Burning Tower is very good in that situation because the enemy is now two points of energy behind me. That should slow him down quite nicely. Void engagement. Ouch, okay, so that lead is opening up. I think I'm... Oh, 13, even 14 points behind him. 12 points behind him on health. Back to 13 points behind him on health. Alright, as we enter the 5 energy turn, what can we do here? Uh, let's go ahead and create another tactic. We'll go with Unbreakable Focus. We'll drop the Tech Engineer for now and get a nice Graviton Cannon, of course. And then lastly, use my ability. Create the Gauntlet Shield. I'm learning a lesson here. That shield is very strong for knights. There's the Munitions Depot. And bye bye Kai, your time is up at last. Drilling sight. And he's throwing in an iron gauntlet shield. Is he putting the shield up right now? Yep, shield goes up. 
and he destroys my troop. No! Poor guy, he did nothing wrong. Alright, so let's start using some of these car tactic cards I have to good use. We're going to turn on Unbreakable Focus, and all of a sudden, those weedy troops of mine start looking pretty strong. And I can take out his munitions depot before it discounts stuff too much, hopefully. Bitch. Alright, coming up to his six energy turns. What I'm gonna do this time is play a tech engineer. Start going for his stuff there. See, I actually made a big mistake, and you'll see what it was in a moment. But anyhow, I decided to try and take out his weapons. That really closed up the gap quite a lot. I can put a shield on and shield myself. Well, not yet. There's no need. He doesn't have enough weapons yet. Oh, House Macabius comes out. Is that going to be a big hit on me? Iron shield goes up. Oh, that's going to devastate me. Ouch, look at that. Alright. So, let's do this. Eight energy turn. Hit him hard. Hit him hard again. Hit him hard one more time. And now, host of angels. Alright, perfect. Coming up to seven energy turn. Can he take these out? So he breaks open the drop pod. There's a flame cannon. And void engagement. Breaks open my shield. Ouch. Breaks open all the drop pods. Drilling site. Oh no. That's not good. Ah, second flame cannon. Ah, I should have played the uh, Blood Angels troops in the previous turn. That's the mistake I realized I made. I should have not. I should have played it on curve. Probably wouldn't be able to kill them all if he, if I did that. All right, let's take a look. What are my options here? We're going to turn on my own shield again. There we are, and. Activate the shield. Turn on a shock lance. And let's increase by attack and go for it. Well, not go for it, because then I have no protection. Breaks me open there. I think this is over now. I feel like I've just lost control of the match with those double flamers out there. Alright, whoops. Where's that phone call? Alright. And... Alright. Coming in. Okay, final turn for me. Graviton Cannon goes out, but... <sighs> Break it open and that's it. No way to handle that situation. Just lost control in the last couple of turns, I feel. Alright, so... What did I learn out of all of this? Well, let's go take a look at the knight cards. I think what I've learned is that a couple of cards which I really underused are definitely the Iron Gauntlet Shield. Right now, that is not really a part of too many of my knight builds. And in all five of these matches, uh, the Iron Gauntlet Shield really messed me up. So that needs to go in. The other card I learned a healthy appreciation for is Munition Depot. So, I didn't put it, I didn't use it before because I've, in the couple of matches I tried it, I, I found it was getting removed too easily. But I think what I learned here is that when it doesn't get removed, it's absolutely game changing. So it's another card which needs to get included in there. Alright, anyhow, I definitely had a lot of uh, fun in those uh, five matches, that little tournament there. Uh, we'll probably do something like that in future as well for different deck builds and things. And yeah, if you've got a YouTube channel and you want to hold a little channel tournament, hit me up, let me know, and we can definitely put something together. 
Alright, so thanks for watching guys, and uh, yeah, hope you had fun. Be sure to check out Lord Lancelot's YouTube channel, it's linked in the description below, and you should be seeing a link to it popping up right now. Alright, so thanks for watching everyone, and uh, see you on the battlefield. Bye guys.